ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. Well, we want to welcome everybody to the broadcast today. It's Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. September the 2nd, 2022. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Thanks for coming in and being a part of our Countdown family. I uh, hope you had a, you've had a great day so far, and I trust that we'll do or say something that would honor Christ and uh, glorify our wonderful, wonderful Savior. And how many know that He is wonderful, uh, the wonder of wonders? And uh, but also, we want to try to be a blessing to you and encouragement to you today. And so, listen, hang in there with us. We'll keep it mighty brief today, but uh, uh, we hope that we can be an encouragement to you as you go into the weekend. So, as we always say, right about now. How about liking and sharing the broadcast, if you would, so some of your friends and family can benefit from what you're receiving here on Countdown to Courage, and then, uh, again, share it. Uh, uh, it'll go out uh, later on throughout the day and even throughout the weekend. Some folks catch it live. Other folks catch it on the way home from work and some on a totally different day, and so it doesn't matter, does it, as long as the truth gets out. Well, listen, it's Friday, and we are so excited about this coming Lord's Day. Now, we've had a great week this week. Uh, some people said, Preacher, we didn't know what to do with ourselves last night. And because of that, that's because we've been in revival most of the week. And God gave us a great, great week with Evangelist Dave Kissler and our I Love America revival. But uh, hey, church, we're looking forward to Sunday, looking forward to a great day of fellowship and rejoicing in the Lord, glorifying our wonderful God and worshiping him together. And so I want to encourage, listen, I want to encourage you to be there. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to be heading um, all day, pretty much, Lord willing, all day on Sunday, we're going to be dealing with the subject of prayer. And uh, now, uh, here recently, we've been praying for a lot of special things at our church. And uh, we're going to talk specifically, Lord willing, this weekend about uh, what, what do we do when God doesn't hear our prayers? And so I, I really believe it's going to be a, an informative day. I believe it's going to be a helpful day. And so uh, whatever you do, be in your place this coming Lord's Day at Calvary. If you're not a part of our Calvary family, be sure you're plugged into a good Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church. And if you don't have anywhere to be, my soul, come and be with us at Calvary. We would love to have you. If you'd like more information about that, just go to our website at calvarybcug.com. And there's a link on our website that can help you with directions and information about the church. Our Sunday school begins at 9.45, our preaching service at 11, and then we come back on Sunday night for an exciting time uh, as being a part of the family of God, 6 o'clock on Sunday evening, and we're looking forward to what the Lord is going to do. And so I tell you what let's do, let's go ahead and find out who's watching today, and then we'll uh, take care of the giveaway. And so, uh, again, it's great to have you on Countdown. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of our Countdown family. Great crowd on here today. We thank the Lord for that. We want to say howdy to Judy Connor. Miss Judy, good to see you today. I hope you're having a great Friday. Chuck Campbell's watching. Hello, Chuck. Good to see you, brother. Hope you and the kids are having a great day today. Um, Almeida Campbell is with us. Hello, Miss Almeida. Good to see you today. Thanks for tuning in. Ricky Bird is watching. Hello, Brother Ricky. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, April Tomlin is watching from Isle of Palms, South Carolina. Wow. Uh, April, uh, listen, uh, th uh, be, be thinking about the rest of us. All right. Hey, I hope you and Josh have a great time. And it's good to see you today. God bless you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Lee Hoots is watching. Hey, Lee. Hope you're having a great Friday today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Karen Hoppins watching. Hello, Karen. Hope it's a great day in Concord, North Carolina. It's good to see you, Karen. God bless you. There's Barry and Christine watching from Morganton, North Carolina. Barry, Christine, good to see you guys today. God bless you. Let me see here. Um, 
looking fast. Uh, Carmen Brooks is with us today. Hello, Carmen. We've been praying for you, and I hope you're feeling better. And Carmen, it's good to see you on the broadcast today. Sally Nelson is with us today once again. Sally, welcome to Countdown. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, Lee Walther's watching. Hey, Lee, good to see you today. Listen, if you ever need a good photographer, that's the direction you need to go right there. Uh, Lee is one of the best. And so, Lee, it's good to see you today. I hope you and your family are having a great day today. Uh, Drake and Caitlin Campbell, we want to welcome the uh, Campbells aboard. Good to see you folks. God bless you. Nina Hill. Hello, Nina. Welcome. Thanks for watching from Union Grove, North Carolina. Michelle Hoots is watching today. Hey, Michelle. Hope you and the kids are having a great day today. It's so good to see you. Sandra Jordan is watching. Sandra, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks for tuning in on this Friday. Brother Mike Hill. Hello, Brother Mike. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. I hope you're taking good care of Miss Nina. Good to see you, Brother Mike. God bless you. Um, let's see here, Allison Tomlin. Hey, Allison. Welcome to the to the broadcast today. Hope you're having a, a blessed day today. There's my beautiful, beautiful little redhead. And uh, we want to welcome Miss Tammy to the broadcast today. What a blessing she is. The Gillies are with us. Hello, Donnie, Tamara. God bless y'all. Hope you're having a, a fantastic Friday. Jane Henderson's watching. Hello, Jane. What a blessing to welcome you aboard today. And man, it's been such a blessing to see you at Calvary. Thanks for tuning in today. Norma James is with us. Hello, Norma. Welcome to the broadcast today. Rodney Tomlin. Hey, Rodney. Good to see you, brother. Sure enjoyed getting to spend a little time with you a little earlier today. Good to see you, uh, Rodney. God bless you. Uh, let me see. I'm just making sure I've got anybody. Yet. Listen, that's the ones that I can see. There may be others that are tuning in today. Good crowd on here, man. Good crowd. We thank the Lord for that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, let's see here. Let me take us to the split screen, and we're going to take care of our giveaway today. Um, and so I appreciate my wife getting all the names together. You can always tell when Miss Tammy gets them together. She's got them in her festive little tin today. Her tin matches my shirt, by the way. And so uh, anyway, thank you for sharing the broadcast of, uh, this week. We appreciate that. I am going to reach down in here and grab a name out today. And let's see. Let me get it open here if I could. The uh, winner of the $10 store credit coupon is none other than Drake and Caitlin Campbell. All right, the Campbells won today. And so help me congratulate Drake and Caitlin Campbell. So guys, you can go to the bookstore and claim that uh, credit coupon uh, on something in the bookstore, Common Grounds. And so uh, anyway, that's a blessing. Thank you so much for everyone. Thank you for liking and sharing the broadcast, we appreciate that so, so much. We're talking about growing in the Lord and how to have, um, how to have a, a good relationship, a solid relationship with your Heavenly Father. Several things we've mentioned this week. Number one, we said to grow in the Lord. First of all, you must emerge in birth. There needs to be a new birth that takes place. Number two, we said it's important that you eat. And we talk when we talk about eating, of course, we're talking about eating spiritually. And we took the opportunity to discuss having a, a balanced spiritual diet preaching, the word of God, prayer, uh, were several of the, of the things that we talked about. And uh, But we, we said this as well, that if you're going to grow as a child of God, well, of course, it's important that you exercise, that you exercise. Now, let's talk about exercise a little bit more today because I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, in unpacking this just a little bit further. The reason for that is this, the Bible tells us that there's several different things that the Lord allows to come into our life that serve as a form of exercise, spiritual exercise in the life of the child of God. First of all is this one, valleys serve as a means of exercise in the life of the child of God. Now let me tell you what I'm talking about. If you have your Bibles and you like to follow along, I want you to turn over to the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter number three and verse number 10. And what a verse this is. Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse number 10. The Bible says it like this. I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men. Listen to this last part. To be exercised in it. Wow. Uh, Ecclesiastes three, verse 10. I have seen the travail. I think that's a key word there. 
I have seen the travail which God hath given. God has allowed it to happen. God's caused it to come into our lives, which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. Now, when I see that word travail, I automatically think about hardship. I think about valleys. Um, over at Calvary, if you go to our church, down in the bottom there, we have a, a beautiful, beautiful prayer trail that we put in a year or two ago. And uh, man, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It makes its way through our through the wooded part of our property there that God's just extremely blessed us with. And uh, we've got Bible verses that run along the prayer trail. It goes right along a beautiful little creek. And uh, we've got benches and picnic tables and places where you can just meditate and have a picnic and hang out. It's just absolutely beautiful. But, But our people know this, that if you walk down the hill to where our prayer trail starts there, uh, boy, when you come back up toward the church, that's a workout. It's a workout. And by the time you get back up to our fellowship hall, uh, you're, you're breathing pretty heavily. You're winded. Now, the reason for, for that is because uh, that prayer trail down there where it starts along the creek, that prayer trail is down in a valley. And when you're coming out of that valley, it serves as a great means of exercise. If you really want to get your exercise, then you walk the prayer trail backwards and you come up that big hill. And here again, man, it really demands some energy to be expended. I was thinking about this uh, a number of years ago when our kids were a little younger. We went to uh, Linville Falls and we started at the top of the mountain. We're going to walk down the trail there. Well, you could hear uh, hear the falls from the, up the top of the, of the mountain. And our kids were like, Dad, Dad, we've got to walk all the way down. We've got to see the falls. And and I kept telling our kids, listen, guys, I'm just telling you that it's probably a little further away than it sounds. Oh, no, Dad, Dad, we gotta, we got to we gotta see the falls. We've got to hike all the way down. And I said, okay, we can do that. But I'm just reminding you of something that when we have to come back, uh, you know, if we, if we go all the way down, we've got to come all the way back. And I remember we hiked down to the falls, and it was absolutely beautiful. But boy, later that day, we had to hike all the way back up the mountain. And I remember that being quite the hike. Now, the reason, because then by the time we got up to the, to the truck, man, we were winded and sweating. And I mean, it was, it was a workout. Why? Because the falls... We're down in a valley. Now, church, listen, this is all I'm saying, and this is so simple. Did you know there are times when God allows valleys and travail to come into our lives, and and God gives us that really as a gift, and I'll tell you why, because that valley, that travail is going to serve as a means of exercise, and that exercise builds us up and helps us to grow in our Christian life. But literally, right before we came on the air today, I was just studying that out just a little further, and I was amazed at what I found out before I came right onto the broadcast today. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 10. I want to draw your attention back there again. The Bible says this, I have seen the travail. Notice that word travail. I have seen uh, the travail. I've got it underlined in my outline. I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. That word travail uh, also is the idea of employment or business. Business. Did you know that God gives you and I employment? Now, I'm not necessarily talking about your um, your secular employment where you work at the factory, the office, or the plant. But the Bible says there that God has given us employment as a means of exercise. You know what I believe? I believe that God gives us all different jobs that we ought to be doing in the kingdom of God. Uh, Some serve as greeters. Some serve on the hospitality team. Some serve uh, in the maintenance team at our church. Others serve uh, as uh, as an altar worker. Some serve in the choir. Others serve in teaching a Sunday school class. Some serve on the safety team, working in the parking lot, whatever the case may be. Now, I, I said all that to say this. You know what? All of us ought to have something. We ought to have an employment. We ought to have a job that we say, it's my job. It's what I do. It's, it's what I do at the house of God. Whether it's running a vacuum cleaner or sweeping or uh, opening up the church on Sunday morning or serving in a nursing home or helping on a van route or uh, or Good News Club or the nursing, whatever it may be, we ought to have an employment 
in the work of God. Why? Because God allows us to have that job as a means of exercise. It keeps us uh, energized. It keeps us uh, engaged. It keeps us activated in the work of God and the service of God. And that service, that employment, that business serves as exercise. Wait a minute now. And that exercise helps you and I to grow in the things of the Lord. Well, that's a simple little word today, but man, I believe that's a powerful word today, isn't it? Well, hey, listen, thanks for tuning in today. We just put our prayer helpline on the screen today, 704-327-5662. If you're watching this broadcast and you don't know Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you right now to reach out. Just reach down for your phone. Call that number, 704-327-5662. If no one answers immediately, be sure that you do this. Be sure that you leave a callback number uh, and a name and maybe a short message, and we would love to call you back and minister to you and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you. And then all of our Countdown family, don't forget, be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time. Well, we're looking forward to meeting with our widows with our Healing Hearts Ministry here at 6 o'clock this evening. It's going to be a great time together. It really is. And then we are pumped about Sunday. And so I hope you'll be praying. Calvary family, we're looking forward to seeing you. Listen, I hope you have a great weekend. And God willing, we'll see you on Countdown to Courage next week. Be blessed.